so guys, for handstand push-ups for today, uh, I want to go over uh, a few specific points to focus on for that movement. Okay, so we'll just we'll address one thing at a time. The first thing that we're going to address is the starting position of a handstand push-up, which is elbows locked out, heels touching the wall. The only thing that should touch the wall here are your heels. Okay, so we're going to start with a handstand hold. So go ahead and approach the wall for me. And before you kick up, I want to go ahead and brace. So go ahead and squeeze your belly and butt. Do not wait until you get up there to do that. So we're braced, we're ready to go. Hands are going to be about shoulder width. So I want you to plant your hands and kick up. And if braced well, elbows are locked out. The only thing touching the wall heel are your heels. Legs and feet should be together. All right? I want your eyes looking. 10 seconds, you guys can come out of that. You're, you're at your <laughs> Good. All right, so step one is the starting position. From there, we're going to apply motion here. So I'm going to have you guys go ahead and grab your ab mats if you need them. All right, so I want to talk about where your elbows need to track. I want to talk about, Billy, my man, you need an ab mat? Might as well. Don't do the concrete on the video. All right. <laughs> All right. All right, so for applying motion, we're going to talk about where your head needs to go. We're going to talk about where your elbows need to track. Okay? So you are still braced when we kick up. We are going to do negatives now. So just lowering, you are not going to press out. So you guys will lower down and then kick out. Then we'll kick back up and do it again. Two things to focus on. One, head position. I want you guys to focus on lowering into that tripod position. So three points of contact. That's going to be a more stable shoulder position. Uh, and it's going to be a better position for balance for those of you that are doing kipping handstand push-ups. So you do not want to lower the head directly between the hands, okay? Second thing is elbow. I want your elbows tracking that way. So when I'm looking this way, elbows are tracking this way, all right? So when you guys give me three negatives, do not press back up. I'm just going to lower, slow and control. We're looking at tripod, looking at where your elbows are tracking. Fine, next time when you kick up, keep your hands up a little bit further away from the wall. Further away? Yeah, just a little bit. You're going to lower your head away from your hands. Good, Billy. Elbows look good. Good tripod. All right, fine. Think about lowering your head towards the wall, so away from your hands. That last rep. That's it, Bonnie. There we go. That's a way different Let's go. Maggie and that rep just raise a little bit more before you pick up. All right, go ahead and get my left. All right. Cool, so those are our big focuses when we're lowering, is head must come all the way down to the mat. I'm in that nice tripod position, elbows are tracking towards the far wall, okay? And then, last thing to focus on for handstand push-ups is gonna be your finished position, your locked out position. Now, I'm not just going for elbows locked out, I'm going for a stacked position, same stacked position as the start, which is elbows locked out, only thing touching the wall are your heels, okay? So now we're going to try for three handstand push-ups. I want you to brace before we kick up. Time for three reps. Yep. We'll do a couple rounds. We'll do maybe one more round. Of... There you go. Good position. Good. Yep. All right, Bonnie, on the next step, we're gonna do two reps next, guys. Bonnie, I want you to really focus on lowering the head away from the hands. Maggie, squeeze the glutes as tight as you can during your reps, okay? Last set of two, and then we're done, guys. Better, Bonnie, better. Nice, good tension. Good. All right. Cool. Thanks, guys.